Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do a very simple special effect, and it's how to create a sparkle. Um, the little video I have here is showing you that I, I used one for making a sparkle for a diamond ring. I'm going to show you a pretty simple, 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 simple way of how to do it. Um, first, let's start out with a, well, by the way, you can, you can change the, the color of the, uh, the stage pretty simply by clicking on the stage and then you go into properties. You can make it um, whatever color you like, so like that for example. I'm just doing this so the, the spark will stand out a little bit. So let's start at say um, frame 10, I'm going to create a keyframe. And also you'll note that I, I uh, use a lot of shortcuts so you'll be able to learn that as well as I go through. It saves you a lot of time. All right, so let's start by creating the actual sparkle. I'm going to make it really small because this is when it just pops into the scene. It's just, you know, emerging into view, right? So I'm going to use a uh, rectangular tool. Um, I'm not going to um, fill it as yet just so I can focus on the lines. So shape it and I'm um, holding on option. By holding on option with the select tool, you create a point. Right now this rectangle has four points and I'm going to create a point here by holding on option. And a point is created, just like that. Um, damn it. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you could, you know, may have be able to think of even simpler ways. There's no right or absolutely, you know, only way of doing this. You can do it whatever way you think is convenient or simple for you. All right. So I'm just making a little sparkle here. All right. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, so now, being a perfectionist here. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it with a bright yellow. Okay, and I'm going to delete the outline. There you go. I'm going to make it pretty small. Now, something you'll notice here, I highlight that. Uh, this is a transform tool. When you're scaling an object, you can scale it in different ways, or well, two major ways. Um, by scaling it normally like this, see the object can be distorted. And also, this is the fixed point. The fixed point is the uh, lower right, um, lower left hand corner. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. And um, if you want to scale an object and have it stay fixed, you hold shift down and then you see it, it keeps the shape. Also, if you want to scale an object and so it scales from the center, you hold down shift and option. So, like so. All right. So I'm going to make it pretty tiny, like that. Or even smaller. Uh, like that. Okay. Then two frames later, I am going to scale it up some. Like that. Then two frames later, scale it up a little bit more. And then two frames later, I'm going to scale it up like so. Now, <clears throat> at this point, I'm going to show you the little sparkles that are flaring away from this um, from this thing. It's like little things like so. See the outline, right? Rotate it. Now I'm going to put it right here. You can scale it down a little bit more. Okay. All right, I'm pretty much just going to copy this. Actually, I'm going to remove the uh, snap. Okay, I'm going to copy, paste in place. Right there. Okay, that's how you you um you paste in place. Copy, Command V, paste in place, Shift Command V. All right. I'm going to rotate that. here, I'm going to copy, 
copy that, paste in place, do another one, and put it here. Okay? All right. So the next two frames, what's going to happen is the bigger stars, the, 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 best, the, the sparkle is going to shrink. So it shrinks. And these things are going to flare out, flare outwards, like that. Then, <clears throat> next two frames, they're going to completely vanish. All right? And then this is going to shrink to a tiny little sparkle again. And then two frames later, it disappears. So it looks like, see that? It's as simple as that. And there goes your sparkle. So it's, it's pretty uh, simple to set up. Then after this, it's just a matter of drawing that little diamond ring or whatever object, or whether it could be stars, whatever. Um, to have it repeat, you just, for example, select all, this, all the frames, like I'm doing here, hold down Option, and then shift them down a couple frames, say around there. So the entire animation will, I'll just play it right now for you so you see it. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm deleting these frames. So I just, to create frames, you hit F5. To remove frames, is Shift F5. See, the frames are gone. So hold down Command, Enter, and then there's your sparkle.